Hello friends, welcome to my educational channel Redis English Literature. I am Ardhendu De. Today we are going to read George Orwell's Shooting an Elephant as a Colonial Writing. Uh, we will uh, rather find out the criticism part on imperialistic uh, writing. We will try to find out George Orwell's this particular essay as a criticism of imperialism. This particular essay is itself a colonial writing or a kind of a criticism is here on the expansion of imperialism or new imperialism that has been relevant or that has been uh, striking throughout the eastern region throughout the world in fact so this particular critical essay we will try to locate what sort of imperialistic idealism is being hurt by the author or what's the author's point of view in stating the facts of politics and related affairs of imperialism and how he become a subject of experiments at that critical moment as he has been a police officer serving in Rangoon. George Orwell has been serving in a British police force. He had been a British officer stationed at Maulme in Burma. So, shooting an elephant, this particular essay which conveys the wrongs of new imperialism and the intense anti-European feelings in the eastern region, particularly the Burma and India. These all aspects has been elaborately stated in this particular essay shooting an elephant in fact george orwell the essayist the critic whose brilliant uh, reporting and the eyes by which he has seen the very reporting or the very scene of shooting an elephant how this brilliant reporting the political conscience that has been a kind of a uh, uniqueness this kind of author as he is he has um, impassionately rather tells the very story and the story is itself telling the imperialism the life and the times of the then time so shooting an elephant we can say is a political essay it might be read as a colonial subject and the criticism that we can find out here is itself a counter motives or counter um, theorem by which totalitarian tendencies has been hurt or has been criticized or rebuked the, the great empire, British empire, that was hurting the very spirit of oriental people. Imperial ideologies and striking aspects of ruining the oriental features in the public is rampaging hard in all of the colonies that British has done. But this significant event in the Rangoon, in George Orwell's career as an imperial police, which was in fact the very subject, shooting an elephant, for the sake of not seeming like a fool, note this word, if he don't murders, if he don't kills the elephant, he would be befooled by the oriental people he would be a laughing stock so in what compulsion in what urgency in what false situation he has to commit this kind of shooting is the very subject matter of this essay after receiving a message about an elephant rampaging the village area the narrator George Orwell, who has been in the police force, 
proceeds on a journey to search for the mammoth beast. On the first leg of the search, he finds a trampled coolie, a death which gives him a kind of judicial and possibly moral justification in killing the beastly elephant. Subsequent to calling for a rifle, the narrator encounters the elephant in a rice paddy field. He is not alone and the eyes of an imperialized culture are intently glaring at his confrontation. The must of the elephant is gone, but the officer has gone too far in his attempt to tame the beast. Now the voices of thousands shouted in joyful anticipation. Now the eyes of thousands looked with interest. Those crowds who were following the police officer. Now two thousands will irresistibly pressed him to action. So what happens? How is the shooting? Now at this scenario, the slaughter of the elephant was unnecessary, but the pre-established European presence of a potentate like class of individuals had already tramped him into the only feasible course of action, the execution of the elephant. Soon enough, the magnificently ancient beast was put to a painfully agonizing indecent sleep. As the crowd shouted in joy, the officer had fulfilled the stereotypical expectations in Burma society towards the oppressive Westerners. In that instant, the oppressor had indeed become the oppressed. And it was at this moment, as I stood with the rifle in my hands, that I first grasped the hollowness the futility of the white man's dominion in the East. So these very lines, it's stating the white man shooting an elephant without his will is like that of a colonial body, imperialistic body. So interestingly, the quote and by extension, the essay speaks of the distastefully ill nature of imperialism and it's psychologically metaphorical entrapment of the Westerners by confronting and growing to fit the mask of preconceived stereotypical notions. Now, shooting an elephant is a central text in modern British literature and has generated perhaps more criticism than any other comparable short piece. It is the much politicized ad atmosphere of contemporary criticism. Commentators are especially drawn into debate about whether Orwell apologizes for or condemns imperialism. There are so many like criticisms. Left-wing critics say insufficient condemnation. Conservative critics point that uh, it is the narrator, an agent of the empire, who explicitly denounces the British presence as pervasively corruption, corrupting to both sides. So the story is a little bit of complex. The story is at one of the most widely anthologized and studied items of the modern English language canon. But we can say that George or else this particular essay tells things straightforward. Just try to look it. The text itself has its multifurcated and double standard meanings, if I say. From one end, the author and the hero of this essay is seeing the very scenario of shooting an elephant 
from an imperialistic eye as well as he is finding himself a victim of that eyes or sight. Now, who are the real victims of imperialism? The shouting mobs or the shooting Englishmen? Now, at one point, it might be told that a people, a mass that has been a compulsion of stating a kind of heroistic appeal from the white whiteners is a imposed charisma or imposed kind of kingship that had the possible canon by which the Britishers or the imperialism striked at Eastern people. Now, as the imperial police, this author Orwell has seen the very plight of the Burmese people. But at the same time, one who is living into a straight one, into a kind of a situation in which he finds a able criticism on the imperialism. Even the sight, scenario, colors, or even the position of being a British or remaining a British or remaining within the system is ample evidence that he must have to take the strike of being within the imperialistic stakeholders. Now Orwell is finding himself a victim of that imperialistic outlook. Now you can find out the text George Orwell's this particular shooting an elephant interesting reading. It's not so difficult reading but difficult in comprehension. So this particular essay might help you to read further on this particular theme of imperialism and new imperialism and how a kind of author also rebuked the very uh, tendencies of imperialism as well as colonialism. So if you have any question reading this particular text, just ask me. I will try my best to give some answers. Like, share, comment and obviously subscribe to my channel. Bye-bye.